Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can recharge a dead car battery uh, with a laptop charger. So I'm going to use these two laptop charger to uh, recharge my uh, car battery. Now, so you can see I can try to start, nothing happens. This is because uh, last night I left the light on and now uh, it's used up all the battery, so I'm going to use the laptop uh, charger to recharge it. So here I'm going to use the digital multimeter to do the reading. At the moment it's just 10.7. Ideally we need to have this one at over 12. 12.1, 12 12.2, 12 or above 12 to have at least some power. This is just way too low to, to start up your car. So let's uh, plug in the uh, laptop charger cable. Now before we start, I just want to um, uh, point it out. Um, it's quite important that you choose the output of your charger. This one here gives me an output of 4.7 uh, amp. And on this one here, there is an output of just 3.4. You can see right here, there's an output of 3.4 amp. So um, they're quite low. So you want to have a laptop charger with a higher output, maybe 8 or 9 amp. This is too low, so in, uh, in this case, I'm going to use both charger uh, to speed up the charging process. Otherwise, you can wait for hours and hours. Um, with a faster uh, output charger, uh, maybe you have to wait for one or two hours. Otherwise, a slow one like this, you might have to wait for overnight to charge up your battery. Okay, now we're going to need to hook up the positive uh, with the positive over here. So I just need to uh, hook it up over here. Okay, right here I place in the two positive cable from the two different uh, laptop charger. So two positive, 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 and I'll put it in here. And then we go to this one. Okay, so I've joined up the two uh, cables, and I'm going to put it in here. So I put in this uh, motor reading as well, so we can uh, read it. Okay, the last step is to uh, plug in the cable. So I'll plug in the charger, and then we'll start to let it charge up. So you can see this multimeter number is jumping up and down, up and down. So the goal is to have it up above 12. So you can see at the moment it is 11.123. So it will jump up and down because of the current. So just wait for it to go up and down slowly, it will inches up. So you can see here, it's a 11.6 is the maximum, and then it inches up to 0.7. So slowly it will go up to 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and then uh, slowly it should goes up to 12. You need to, to go above 12 uh, in order for you to start up your car. So I'm just gonna wait for a while, and I will get back to this video. Okay, so after some time of charging, this one has increased uh, quite a bit of power, as you can see, it's 11.8586 now, 89. So you want to uh, wait a little bit until you get to 12. Once you get to 12.1 or 0.2, you should have enough power to uh, start up your car. It has uh, sufficient power, we can try to start the car. Now remember that uh, once the car starts it, uh, have your engine run uh, for a while uh, just so that you have uh, enough power going to the battery so that the battery is uh, properly uh, fully charged up. So a good reading should be around 12.5 so you want to go for around 12.1, 12.2 to 12.5 so once you got around 12.2 you can try to uh, start your engine and uh, I have the engine to uh, fully charge up your dead battery. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.